Hi, welcome to Call Center VoIP. That's Center C N T R E VoIP dot com, and FreePredictiveDialers dot com. Uh, today, we'd like to uh, give you instruction on how to load a free version G729 codec in your newly installed Vichydial or Vichydial Now or Vichybox based install with Asterix uh, 1.2. Um, what we'd like to do is also give a shout out to let everybody know that we are a call center VoIP suppliers and we also offer hosted Vichydial solutions online which you can get information at our website at freepredictivedialers.com. Now to get started what you need to go is to callcentervoip.com and go to predictive dialer and then go down to free G729 codec. Okay. Now it's going to open up a, a, th a third party site which is not associated to me but this, uh, this guy has done many 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 codecs available for all versions of Asterix and uh, seems to support everyone very well. Now as you can see based on this Asterix 1.4, 1.6 Asterix 1.2, 1.61, as well as all the different versions of PCs uh, associated that you can install these items from P4 based machines, P3, Core Duos, um, up to Xeon. So uh, you need to do a little bit of research on what type of hardware you're going to do. Now the first thing you need to do is tr uh, is understand that we uh, Vichydial uses uh, Asterix 1.2 currently. Okay, so you need to go and find your Kodak. We're installing on a Core 2 Duo system. Um, just for future note, uh, we've already installed the G729, so we're going to use this example and install the G723. But it's the same thing despite uh, which Kodak you use. So find your Kodak, download it, get it in your file so you can access it later. And then uh, once you uh, get that far, you uh, can basically go to your Win SCP. Uh, before I start on that, you need uh, PuTTY or some type of SH installer, as well as uh, an FTP loader, which we use Win SCP. Okay, so uh, we're basically going back to our Win SCP, and we're going to log on to our system. Um, to help you find your codecs, I've just uh, got some here. There's a G729 codec, hopefully you can read that. It says AST12, which relates to uh, Asterix 12. Uh, this is for a Core 2 Duo, uh, which is also AST12, which means 1.2, so keep that in mind. Okay, go to your WinSCP and log on. Put in your root username and password. While it's doing that, what you need to know is this is where we have to go. I have to go to user, lib, asterisk, and then modules. Okay, so go just go up one file to your root directory. Go to uh, user. Then go to lib. This may take a few minutes to load. Okay, we're now in lib, so now we go to asterisk. Then we go to modules, and then you find where you downloaded your codec. Copy that directly over. While it's doing that, log on to your PuTTY. Same thing, root, and your password. While we're waiting for the codec to load, go to asterisk, A-S-T-R-I-S-K, space, minus, R. Okay. As we can see, it is now copied over. I'm putting in uh, G723. You would be putting in the G729. Really is no need to load the G723 unless you have a good reason for it. 
Um, from that point, the command line is L O A D space. Go to uh, your Kodak and just copy directly from there just so you don't make any mistakes. So just copy so you don't make any mistakes. Go back to your, uh, your putty and it's load space. Put the codec name is, push enter. And what you will see come up that means it's a successful install. At the moment I have G7232LIN and LINTOG723. You just need to see it without the 723 and the G729, which will correspond with uh, some what you can see here. Okay, that means it is a successful install, and that Kodak is ready to be used based on changing your config files, your trunk lines on your uh, Vichidal uh, uh, trunks. Um, thank you for listening. Uh, just uh, before I go, I just want to tell you a little bit about our website. As I said, we've been selling call center services for quite some time. Um, from here, you can look at a lot of additional information. Um, for example, signing up for a VoIP service is as simple as filling in the 10 lines of your application form. If you needed hosted systems, which means we can supply you a hosted feature dial, takes less than three hours to set up and make your phone calls, you continue on and uh, fill out the rest of it. Otherwise, you just if it's just VoIP service, you just need to start. If you fill that out and then go and make a payment, as you can see, you can make a payment as low as $2 for a test account, but 10 all the way up to $500 and beyond is also an option. If you click on that, add to cart, make the payment, and fill out the application form, it takes us uh, less than uh, half an hour to set up uh, your VoIP service for you. Um, and uh, if you wanted your hosted uh, solutions uh, during business hours, we can have that up and running within uh, two to three hours and you can be making your first lot of calls. Uh, just on another note, back to the Asterix page, there is a lot of resources on this page and the developer of this, who is not associated with our company, uh, obviously does a very good job. We do recommend to give him some type of donation because the Kodaks are worth about $10 each if you went through the purchase versions. We've been using the free versions for quite some time very very happy with them again i thank you for listening i hope that helps you set up please check out our other videos um, at uh, freepredictivedialers.com or callcenter c-e-n-t-r-e voip.com thank you very much